Okay, this is how to use a ring sling. Here's my ring sling. Um, first, it needs to be threaded. So these are called rails, the outer edges. This is the top rail, bottom rail. Um, but actually, I'm going to flip it. So when it goes around me, I'm going to put this, wrap it around me um, so that this ring is resting on my shoulder. And then I bring... Bring it around my back so you see it's spread. The fabric is spread as much as possible. I'm gonna bring this around to the front and I'm just gonna gather it to put it through both rings from the back. So put it through like this. And then I'm gonna check and my this top rail should be closest to the ring the start of the ring, right? And then the back rail, I'm gonna loose, pull it loose a little bit. Um, the back rail is on the other side, so it's spread, it's spread inside that ring. And then I'm going to take the fabric, gather it again, and lift up on the ring lift up on the rings to slip the fabric through another time okay now it's threaded should be spread wide and then you want to kind of make like a they call it a rosebud you pull it pull it through to loosen it to loosen you lift up on the top loop, top ring, you just lift it up and it'll loosen all this. Okay, and um, you kind of make a, a rosebud to keep it all spread. Um, that can sometimes help. So, then time for baby. Hi baby, you come help me? Playing so nice. <laughs> you playing so nice. Say hi. Hi, Teddy Buddy. You were playing so nice on the floor. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna. We're gonna show Auntie how to um, use the ring sling. This is a woven. So. Um. It's really pretty easy to, like, pull down on the rail. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with my top rail, and I'm going to pull after I've got it up to his shoulders. And also, sorry I didn't really show you this part, but you want to put the spread the bottom from knee to knee and tuck it under the baby. So you, you're creating like a wall between yourself and the baby. And... And then, so I just, I have already, I just tightened my top rail. I'm going to go across, tighten the middle, go all the way over, tighten the bottom rail. So the bottom rail, when I pull over here, it's going to tighten under him. All the middle section get, tightens his back area and butt. Okay, so... I'm just going to keep going through, and right now it's like, oh, just the, this part really needed to be tightened, so I just pulled the middle section. Now, the ring has slipped down quite a bit on me. Um, it doesn't need to be this low, so I'm going to probably scoot him up a little bit to get, hit, to get the ring a little higher. But the fabric is spread on my shoulder. Like the, one, the ring sling that I sent you has a padded shoulder, so it won't spread as much it's gonna be, it's gathered in and padded. Um, so there's that difference, but, um, so in order to scoot him over now, cause I'd like these rings to be just a little bit higher on me, I'm going to 
put my um, put my hand in, grab him, and just lift him up, and then I'm gonna see. I'm I'm just gonna scoop pull this material over a little bit more. So if I would have started with the ring farther back, then I wouldn't have to do that. But um, so then I'm gonna just tighten again. So that loosened things up. So I tighten again, and um, there you go. With the tail, um, the tail that I, the one that I sent you, it has a nice pocket, so you can leave it down and store things in it. Or um, for baby, you can twist if you want to make a little head support. You can twist it and tuck it under the top rail. And then you've got head support. You might need to loosen that top rail before you do that. Okay? And then, um, if or otherwise, if you just want to get rid of the tail, you can wrap it around the rings. <laughs> yeah. I'm just showing Auntie. I know we're not walking and he's getting bored. But you just, you can do this multiple times, whatever, till, till it's gone. You know, whatever you feel like. And then you got him. And then, oh, so let's show let's show side carry, and we could even show back carry. Um, back carry, I probably wouldn't recommend until you feel really confident, like in the ring sling. But um, so I just loosen it up a little bit, right? And then for the side carry, since my ring is right there, I'm just gonna scoot him. Scoot the material over and scoot him. So there we go. And still need a little more. Um, still need a little bit more material to come over here, and then pull. Once you get used to this, it's so easy. It's it's really fast and easy. So there he's on my side, and I can be more hands free. And you can see the back, the way the back looks. Um, also, this should be more spread on my shoulder, just this one in particular, since it's not a padded one. But um, Now, if I wanted to put him on my back, I, that's a whole different <laughs> kind of ball game. This would, I want to start on my back. I want the ring to be actually centered in my back. Um, see if we can do it. So, so the ring... I want to start with it back farther. Maybe something like that. And then um, I scoot him over. Oh, by the way, always making sure that this fabric is underneath and tucked under. So there's something carrying them and supporting them. So it's going over to my backy. Yeah. And then I would tighten the rails. Okay, his, his hand is kind of in a weird awkward position. He might complain about that. There we go. Okay, you, you moved your hand. And now the ring on me. This is fine. I'm comfortable with it. But, you know, some people might want that ring up a little higher. But, so there we go. He's, he's in there now. Pretty safe, pretty secure. Um, still want to just tighten all the way across from rail to rail, just to make sure he's in there. Sometimes with the one I sent you, you can just even pull like this and it'll tighten everything. So, he's there and he's happy and I think it works. So, I hope that explains things better for you.